In this presentation, what we're going to do here is look at a proof. If A and B are two square n by n matrices, which is to say both A and B have the same dimensions, it's not just that, it's not that, uh, that they're both squares, that both have the same sort of dimensions. Uh, both are invertible, and then A times B, to the, uh, the inverse of A times B exists. Essentially, this is the proof we're interested in. The inverse of A times B is equal to the... Uh, inverse of b times the inverse of a. Now remember when, when you're dealing with matrices uh, ordering is particularly important. Okay so this is what we'll have to try to prove here. Now let's take a very simple straightforward type proof. So what we're going to do here is essentially work on the basis of um, that there. So the just of what we're going to do here is as follows. Okay, we're going to use different identity here. So, and we're going to use this in our identity. Okay. So essentially, this is just a generic identity for um, uh, matrices. So, so a general for, uh, formula: p times p to the minus one is equal to p to the minus one times p, and they're both equal to the identity matrix. So essentially, what we're going to do here is we're going to have this as the left hand side we're going to have this as the right hand side and we're going to show that both are equal to uh, identity, identity matrix so P here in this case P is AB and we're interested in the inverse of AB the product of AB okay so what we're doing here is the left hand side first off Okay. Now what we're going to do is use that identity and essentially the gist of this overall proof is the overall the, the overall proof is uh, will only work uh, the the will only get to the identity matrix by both methods if this uh the proof we're trying to uh, the statement we're trying to prove is correct. So according to the statement that we're trying to prove a this is equal to a times b times b to the minus 1 times a to the minus 1. Okay. And B times the inverse of B, that cancels out to the identity matrix, so we're left with A times the identity matrix times A to the minus 1. Now you can get, uh, that cancels out to A, okay, and that gives us the A times the, uh, its inverse, and that is equal to the identity matrix. Okay, so that's the left hand side done, the left hand side. So what we're going to do here is something very similar for the right hand side. And the right hand side is, a, again, just working back, we're sort of making this sort of statement here. Uh, P to the minus 1 times P is also the identity matrix. This is the right hand side. So A times B to the minus 1 times A times B is the identity matrix. Oh, well, let's see what it is yet. That is equal to b to the minus 1 times a to the minus 1 according to our formula and if you sort of uh, look at there a to the minus 1 and a that cancels out to the identity matrix so what we left that is therefore b to the minus 1 times the identity matrix times b i times b is b and we're left with b to the minus 1 times b and that is also the identity matrix so the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and that's only possible because this statement is true okay so if that was not true we would not have got the identity matrix after both on on the left hand side and the right hand side we might have got one but not the other it's only it, we only got the identity matrix for both the left hand side and the right hand side because that is true